the crude oil market continues to be interesting, and it's giving us a perfect example of why we have to pay attention to the, to the underlying assumptions of the models we use. So what's going on is crude oil, uh, June, uh, for, for June delivery, uh, CME NYMEX crude oil, is down 50% to about $10. And in the previous video I did last night, I mentioned a put option that, uh, on, on June uh, crude oil with a, with a 50 cent strike price. And I mentioned last night its price was uh, 20 cents, implying you, it, you would profit if you, if, you, if you bought this put option and crude oil fell below 30 cents. Well, now that option is trading above $3, about $3. Uh, I've I seen it trade a little bit above right, you know, just a second ago. But, so what this assumes, uh, what this uh, says, however, is that uh, if crude oil falls below negative two dollars and fifty cents, then y you would profit on this option. So if you're buying this option, you're expecting crude oil to fall below uh, negative two dollars and fifty cents. So now, why is that important? Well, interestingly enough, you know, while I'm looking at this option in my brokerage account, the the, the brokerage uh, also provides with with the option. Price uh, Greeks. It, it provides the delta, theta, gamma, and, uh, uh, vega, and so forth. And I, and it got me wondering. Now, if if I need Greeks, I'll calculate that myself. I don't use the one from my brokerage. But it got me wondering, how are they calculating those Greeks? And I bet I don't know, but I bet that they're using Black seventy six. So Black seventy six. This is Fisher Black of the Black Scholes model. And the Black Scholes model was. 1973, but after that, Black uh, came out with a with a model specifically for futures options, and this is this is Black 76. So the Black uh, uh, 1976 model assumes the option pricing model assumes that this is how futures prices behave, and this should look somewhat familiar to you. This is the same uh, the same uh, process that we use for stocks. So this this assumes that uh, futures prices are log normally distributed. And if futures prices are log normally distributed, the model assumes, Black's 1976 option pricing model assumes that future prices cannot be negative, right? So right now, now of course, this futures model also assumes uh, mu's constant, uh, the constant volatility. We know constant volatility is, is not a great assumption, but now, so a model is always an abstraction from reality. But now, the, now that the, the, not only can crude oil be negative, but the market is actually expecting, betting that the, that the uh, uh, crude oil will be negative. Now this this uh, assumption becomes untenable. It, you know, far too. Um, you know, the, the 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 assumption is is just renders the model useless at this point in time, right? So now I don't mention I, I mention this not to say you know uh, use don't use this if you're going to trade it. I, I would not advise. Uh, trading this option unless you have a keen insight into the underlying storage situation. Uh, otherwise, you'll just be a noise trader. But this, what this would be, is a great project, uh, a great analysis. Uh, if you want, if you're interested in option pricing, to go and say, okay, well, if you could pull some data, particularly if you could pull some data over the last couple of days, and say, as this, as it, be, as the market started to expect that this contract would go negative. How did the actual Greeks, the actual behavior of the option, diverge from the behavior of the option, which would be predicted uh, by Black 1976? Right. So I think that would be a pretty interesting analysis to do. You just have to pull some some prices for June crude oil and uh, for the uh, this particular uh, put option. So again, very interesting what's going on in the market, and it, and it really shows that one, if you're going to uh, to to use a particular model particularly in times of stress like this, right? So a lot of times when you need a good model uh, is you don't necessarily need it when, when, when the market is, is, is very tame, but when you really need a good model is, is often when the times uh, the market is under stress. And what you can see now is when the market's under stress, those, that model no longer holds. So it, it's a really good example of what can happen to models in times of market stress and also Again, always to pay attention to the underlying assumptions of your model. If you're using Black 76 for this option, this is, uh, it's not going to work out. Have a great day.